Hey everyone, so I'm just going to wing this video. This is my end of the year, just trying to reflect on how the first year of med school went. Um, it's hard. It's definitely a different challenge. And they definitely made our first half of the year a lot harder than the second. And maybe that was just because it took time to adjust, or maybe because it was just harder. But it was harder in the beginning, and then it got easier towards the end of the year. So... For me, it just was trying to adjust. I'm in a new place, I'm in a new environment. You know, it's the pace is just so much quicker. It was ridiculous how much information we were expected to learn in such a short amount of time. And I think that this first year was just meant to get us used to that kind of fast paced learning. And I kind of had a little bit of like difficult learning through bioengineering, so that was pretty helpful. But I didn't have to learn that much information in such a short amount of time. And med school is a lot of memorizing the first year, which I expect for it to continue. Um, resources that I thought were good, I still think Anki, A-N-K-I, which is a spaced repetition flashcard service. I thought that that was pretty good. Um, I'm still using it, I intend to use it. Anything that's spaced repetition will help you remember things longer term from what I've read. So. Hopefully that's gonna work and that'll come in handy for years to come. I've heard firecracker is a similar thing. I am not sure if I wanna pay for that, but I'm, I'll look into it at some point and let you guys know. I think Pathoma, I don't know if that's how you say it, but I think that was, that's been a good resource just like to watch along as you learn those things in your classes. So I would recommend getting those videos. Um, and then, general resources like textbooks, ask your second year peers what they thought was helpful for the classes. I liked using first aid as I went along the first year, which some people might say is overkill because you're just a first year, but I think that it's never too early to prepare and you're still using the book to study for your classes. Like I would look at that textbook and they would provide an alternative explanation and they would tell me what's kind of important of a certain disease rather than just all this information spewed by the professor who was like a PhD in this subject. So I wouldn't use it as a sole learning purpose like tool, but I would definitely use it as you go along in your classes. And I think that using any like board style review book, like for anatomy, there's like BRS, there's high yield. I think that's helpful too, just because they also condense things, but they're a little more in depth than first aid would be because first aid has to cover everything that you need to know for your step one exam, whereas the BRS and the high yields would just be focusing on a specific topic so they can be a little more in depth. I think there's also first aid organ systems and basic principles that you could also look into, which I think would go a little more in depth than the general first aid. But yeah, I would basically use those as outside resources too, and that was super helpful. So that's like the academic part aside. I think you just need to get used to it, figure out what works for you, and then use that for a second year because second year I've heard is going to be a lot worse and I'm not looking forward to telling you guys about it. But then in terms of like support systems and like staying sane the first year, I think you should all keep the things that make you sane. So like for me, I need to go to the gym every day just because if I start to feel a little bit weak or like a little bit out of shape, it will make me jittery, it'll make me antsy, so I needed to do that. That was peaceful for me. Um, watching some TV was also peaceful for me. That was really nice. Um, and, and I think like you should make time for friends. Yeah, you might wanna be like, oh, well, I wanna spend all of my time studying. I don't have time for people. Yes, you do. Just make time for the people who matter to you. Go to the social events once in a while. If you, I'm not the most like, oh, let's go to bars all the time kind of person, but I would go if I that was where my entire class was going. I would try to make all the events where the entire class was going so I could talk to as many people as I could. And I think just having those few select people who are helpful to you, just keep them in your life. Like I had my family, my little siblings love them. I had my one of my really, really close friends, she's absolutely the most amazing person. She listened to all my whining and that was really helpful. And then I also had my boyfriend. Yeah, babe, called you my boyfriend. 
but he was also really helpful in listening to me and commiserating with me, which it's always nice to have someone to whine with and they whine back too. Um, also, I had friends at school. They could also, you know, they were going through the same thing as me, so they could also whine. And I don't know, just like find whoever keeps you like sane, comfortable. You're gonna need someone like we're human creatures, we need social interactions. So I would definitely recommend having people in your life and doing those little things like for some people it's yoga, for some people it's rock climbing, like do whatever keeps you sane. And yeah, because it's gonna, it's just harder if you feel alone and you're giving up so many things. Like med school's hard, you don't need to make it harder by giving up things that you love. So I think that's something I'm gonna have to work on second year because it's gonna get harder and I might feel the need to neglect things, but there's always time. We're not, you're not expected to actually memorize every little thing in the book, like that's impossible. You just need to memorize the important facts. And I'm gonna start starting a lot harder for step and we'll see how that goes. I mean, not this summer, I'm gonna take summer a little chill and maybe I'll keep you guys updated on summer. My, I think I said in the last video, I'm gonna be doing research because that's what I liked. And that's what I did for a lot of my first year. And some people don't like doing research, then don't do it, but I personally love research. So I started that very early in first year and I personally enjoy it. It was something for me to do. It was interesting. I learned about cancer, which was sad, but I learned a lot about the statistics of like colon cancer. And it'll hopefully help me for other classes. And personally, it was just something that interested me. So do what makes you guys happy, be interested. Um, I survived first year. Who knew? You guys will be able to as well. So good luck, guys, and I'll leave any questions if you have any. Bye.